Hello everyone, welcome to my guide on the sealed gate. Now this is the last area, which means we are almost done. So if you know about any similar games like the Mutant that are either upcoming or early access, uh, write it down in the comments. So what do we have here? First we have Brother Mark Luktar, Sect Hunter, and there's another Sect Hunter on top of this building and behind him there are plenty more enemies. We're going to be starting over here. You don't actually need to have brother Mark Lecter moving away, you can just attack from here. Just make sure that you have equipped a silent weapon on everyone. And before we keep moving, I want to talk to you about something I've done. I have uh, gotten this Mimir PC-9-8 in some of the previous areas, and uh, I have upgraded If you remember, I had this really good boomstick that had like a damage of 10 and a 15 if it was critical chance, so I've taken some of the attachments on there and added it to this one. Because the Mimi had a very low basic range, only 8, so I've given him an attachment that increases the weapon range, and I have it on Bormin who has the Eagle Eye, so now it has a range of 13. Otherwise we have just like a normal regular weapons. And also you might notice that I have a lot of artifacts, that's because uh, in one of these areas up to this point, you can get an artifact that actually counts for more artifact points than just one. I have gotten the, the upgrade that increases my critical chance against organic enemies. So essentially got every uh, artifact skill except for uh, the, the medical related ones because we're doing the areas perfectly so we don't really care about healing ourselves or anything like that. And the discount at the radio shop. So we're going to be starting with this sect hunter. Now what you're going to need for this one is, um, I'm going to be moving a little bit closer, maybe, there. Your summer where she has a 100% shot, which is for example there, and she'll be using her twitch shot. Now uh, these uh, hunters, they actually have HP of 26, not 24 anymore, which means that you cannot kill them just by using um, Pharaoh's crit chance. You now actually need to use one of your abilities. So that makes it a little bit more complicated, but also a little bit more entertaining. So you can just kill him like this, quite easily. Okay, next up we're going to be fighting brother Mark Luktar. So what we're going to be doing is moving Bar Borman to over there, and we would like uh, Selma, sorry not Selma, Pharaoh to hide. Can Selma hide next to her? I don't think so. Oh, she can't. Um, That's fine. Move her over here. Hide there. Borman. Borman will try to hog rush. Now, at the moment, Brother Mark Luktar is far enough away from that other hunter, so you can actually uh, hog rush him. Now, we're gonna exit combat and make sure that Borman has the hog rush equipped. You have to use Selma because you want to revive her abilities, and Pharaoh we're using because she gets that extra crit chance from being hidden. So, first thing we're gonna do with Pharaoh is we're gonna shoot. Say my name, Jizwipe. It's Pharaoh. Then you want to hog rush him with Borman. And next up you're going to continue with Selma. I want to move closer so that she gets a better shot. Okay. Okay. We'll just continue with whomever. Until we kill him. Okay, and Borman can shoot the final shot. Okay, not final shot, we have one more shot. Well, actually, the fire killed him, but we could do it next time. Okay, next up we got this hunter. Next enemy will be this hunter up on top, so let me uh, climb up. And then you gotta immediately move to the right and he will not uh, see you because you're not, not in range long enough. Now you gotta be careful in this fight because the second he can see a little bit on top of the building, so if you move too close to to the uh, to the left like part of the building or something you could potentially alert him so you want to make sure that you don't do that now make sure that everybody follows you up on top of this building then you can for example split up and what we want to do here is we want to switch Selma for ducks so i'm just gonna do it because we want to use ducks's skull splitter now what we gotta talk about here something that you might have noticed in the fight before is that Right now, let me show you Dex's crit chance and uh, Selma's. Dex has a 50% crit chance and Pharaoh 
has a 100% crit chance. That's because even though they're not behind any obstacle, they're still considered hidden. You can see it up here in the description. Because we're starting the playthrough and the sect hunter did not notice us. But right after we shoot with, with Pharaoh, let me actually show you. We're just going to shoot with her. So after this, Dax's crit chance will no longer be 50% because he's no longer considered to be hidden. It's only 35 now. So that's something to kind of uh, like keep in mind that um, the first person will have the 100% crit chance, but if the other people are not behind an obstacle, it will get lowered for them if you're dependent on the like hidden modifier. And because the center has 16 HP and not just, well, 26 total, you have to use an extra ability. So I'm going to be moving decks on the right side. Why do I care about this right side, not this left? Because if you move too much to the left, the tank might be able to see you. So that's why we're going to be moving kind of like, like there. That's going to be outside of the range of that tank. And then we can shoot him. Oh no, I forgot to use the skull splitter. Oh man, I was just telling you about it and I kind of forgot. Okay, well, uh, that's not actually that big of a problem. We're just going to use a trick shot on Borman. But yeah, you definitely want to use that skull splitter, guys. Uh, it's much better. Why? Because um, he has a low HP. So we didn't need the twitch shot, but for some of the other enemies, we might do need the twitch shot, so. Okay, let me prep for the next enemy. Okay, so I've checked around and it seems like we're far enough from all the other enemies, so we can actually use loud weapon for this one. Normally what you want to do is you want to use Magnus, you want to puppeteer the sec butcher, then like the sec tank, attack the sec butcher, then you're going to shoot them all. Unfortunately, I don't have... The puppeteer ability revived on uh, on Magnus, so instead I'm gonna be using Selma because I want to revive her twitch shot, and on Borman I'm gonna be using Stone Skin and Run and Gun. You gotta make sure that uh, Pharaoh has a weapon that can do that has multiple ammo because we're gonna be using the Gunslinger on her. Selma's gonna be taking the GJR, that should be fine. And Boromin has this Mimir. Okay, so we're just gonna ambush. First thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using Pharaoh and we're gonna be taking her Gunslinger. We're gonna make sure to switch to the Elysium. And let's check it out. We have a 100% shot on the sec tank, 75% chance on the sec bridge, about a 100% crit chance Give on them both. Perfect. Next up, we're going to be using Borman. Now, Borman will be using his run and gun. Then he will be moving as close to the tank as he can, which is there. But you have to give him the armor that will make him uh, like um, immune to the hog rushing from the sec tank. Then you're going to be using the stone skin. But because you have the run and gun, you can actually now easily kill the butcher. It wouldn't necessarily matter if you kill the butcher at this turn. Because... Because you are you have used the stone skin, so you're immune against it as attacks. But I'm just gonna use it anyway. And then Selma will use her GJR to hit the second. She has a 95% chance of a crit chance. Now the tank, as usual, will attack the person who is closest to him. Probably try to hog rush him too. Yes, he did. And now he'll try to shoot him as he usually does. Nothing all that special about it. Damage is absorbed though, so you can now just straight up kill him with whomever really. A crit chance from Selma and finish it off with Borman. Nice. He's dead. As usual, let me prep for the next enemy. Now, next up, we're going to be fighting these two robots. Now, they are far enough from all the other enemies that you can use loud weapons, and they're too close to each other, so when you kill one of them, it will alert the other, even though the left police button force is just outside range, when you kill him, it will alert the police bot. So we're going to be using loud weapons. Make sure that you have equipped circuit breaker on both Pharaoh and Dex, or that you have EMP grenades. First thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to be using my ancient pistol with Borman, just to see if there's any chance I can disable this police button force. If I can, that's okay. But more often than not, you can. Okay, so we did it. If you couldn't do it, then what you would do at this point is use Circuit Breaker on this Polydwoss Enforcer with Pharaoh 
and circuit breaker on this body spot with ducks. Now remember that you can use loud weapons now, so you do plenty of damage. Now we don't need to do that, so we can actually just straight up focus on this one and try to shoot him. We have a 75% shot, so let's actually move Pharaoh closer. There's no need to fight from that far off. And she's just gonna I shoot. Am the beautiful weapon. Get some. Now he still has 15 HP, so that's a lot, right? So now you can uh, let me, let me, yeah we have the GGR so we'd have to have a hundred percent great chance which is kind of like a race right so we don't know so what we're going to be doing instead is we're going to be using the circuit breaker on this one alternatively you can use moth wings to get better let me see what kind of crit chance would I get 80% crit chance um yeah but it still wouldn't be enough actually because he has that one armor so what you want to do with dex is you want to circuit break this enemy but um yeah oh. so essentially you want to disable them both but you might avoid using both of your circuit breakers with that uh weapon from Borman. Now next up we still have like two turns to kill this one. Now with Borman you can actually use the Maimer. Just make him move him closer so that we get a better shot. That's okay. Donut. Nice. You get a 14 critical hit. Next up we'll continue with Pharaoh using her Elysium. We can just finish him off during the next turn with whomever. Like Pharaoh. I'm the hero. Zero. You want to disable both of these guys and um gonna try to use the ancient pistol for that and if we can then we just use the circuit breaker. Let me prep for the next enemy. Ancient home. Okay now finally we get to the like the main set of enemies. We have high priestess Plutonia, sect hunter, sect thing, and a sect fire on the left. This sect fire on the left is lonely, so you can kill him um oh easier, I guess, than everybody else. But yeah, this is gonna be a very interesting fight, I think. I don't know if we're gonna have enough range with our sound weapons, but Oh yeah, we do. Kind of crit chance to sparrow, yeah. Hundred oh. No, we're gonna have to use Dex's Skull Splitter for this, I think. Yeah. Probably. So let's uh, ambush. We're gonna start with uh, Pharaoh to give. Actually, maybe we should start. With... No, we'll start with Pharaoh. So, so she gets that 100% crit Say chance. My name, she's white. It's Pharaoh. Yes, Next up, we'll go with Dax. Ooh, he has a 100% shot and a 100% crit chance from his position, so we actually don't even need to use the Skull Splitter. That's fantastic, because we can get crit chance on both Dax and Pharaoh. So Dax on high ground, he's... The same way Pharaoh works when, she, when she's hidden, I guess Dax works on high ground. He's like, really doing a great job. Okay, so we killed that Pyro. Be careful not to step into the fire. Now this medbot is actually a little too close to the Mamer, so when you kill him it will alert the Mamer. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to straight up fight the Mamer. You want to make sure that you have the Circle Breakers equipped on Pharaoh and Dax. And uh, on Borman you want to have the Ancient Pistol. Also I will be giving myself some EMP grenades just in case. Yeah, let's um where, where is Borman? Come on man, where is he, he's not even hiding, but it's like not willing to, to come. And I guess I'll split up my people and move in there myself. When you're gonna be running through this, you wanna be kinda careful because you wanna run as close to this thing as possible. And it's just gonna quickly outrun like this. Okay, we're gonna be placing our people here and we're gonna try to fight. Okay, I've moved uh Pharaoh a bit around, now we can actually begin. So, next up. 
we will start with Borman. See if we can disable that now. Now be careful about the are blowing up when you kill him. So we're going to have to move back. Give up now and I'll go easy on ya. See if Borman can disable him? No, he can't. Okay, that's fine. We can use the circuit breaker next turn if necessary. I did that. Oh, actually, we might be able to. No, I don't think we'll be able to kill him. Let's start with Borman and we'll see what he does. And if he can disable him, we'll use the circuit breaker. Or if he gets a crit chance, then we don't need to. Yeah. We'd need a crit chance on one of these guys. I don't know if I can. Oh, he disabled them actually, so we don't care. Yeah. And I think we're far enough with everybody. We'll see. Yeah, I might take a step back with the Borman just to be sure. With Borman. And shoot him up. Now, even though there's like a big blow up, it did not actually alert anybody. Me. You want to kill this mad bot next. However, you cannot kill him from here because the wooden wheel thingy. I don't know what what's it called. Tell me what it's called. It's um. Uh, covering the med, but so you want to run around and do this from the opposite side. Also, normally, when you're going to be doing this, you would want to use like Dex Pharaoh and Borman as we have now. But actually, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be using Magnus because I want to revive his ability. So make sure that you have equipped uh, some grenades on the person, on for example, Pharaoh uh, or Borman, or actually we should probably give the grenades to Magnus, that will be the easiest decision. So let me give him at least one EMP grenade. I still haven't bought any, so all of these are grenades that you just can get from the game. And then we're going to attack from here. You want to make sure that you're attacking from this side and not not from that side because they're, he's blocked. Not from this side because if you knock him back, you'll be knocking him back into the area of the tanks. So we'll be going from this side. We'll start with Borman. Then we'll continue with the um, Pharaoh. Because Borman disabled him again, we don't need to care about the circuit breaker and stuff like that. And then we'll finish it off. Knock. Go with Magnus again. Okay, and Borman can now finish him off. So I'm thinking let's move Borman a bit more to here. So that the angle is a bit going like a bit more away so that when he falls back he's going back further away and not closer okay perfect now all of these guys are too close to each other so you actually have to kill them together so what we're going to be using is magnus's puppeteer ability then pharaoh's gun slinger make sure she has a good weapon she we're giving her the elysium Magnus needs to have... Uh, I think I'm going to give him the Rambino, something with a good range. Borman's going to keep the Mimir PC 980. I'm going to give Borman the Stone Skin and the Run and Gun. Magnus is the Puppeteer. And Pharaoh will keep the Gun Slinger. So let's uh, begin. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use Magnus to Puppeteer the tank. Now remember that um, tech tanks are immune to Hogrash. And High Priestess Plutonia is immune to Mind Control. So we're going to be using... But she's not immune to Hogrash, which is very important. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the tank. And we're going to Hogrash High Priestess Plutonia. Perfect. Next up, we're going to be using Pharaoh with her Gunslinger ability. And she will shoot... Ooh, she has a really bad shot. Can I move her closer? Um, how about there? Okay, we'll, we'll go from there. 
Who's the gunslinger now? Okay, 75% and 50%, that's a bit better. Okay, we missed the high priestess, but we shot the tank. Next up, we're gonna be using Borman with his uh, weapon. Now, he only has a 75% shot. However, because the tank is the closest enemy to the hunter, you don't really have to worry about him. He should be attacking that the tank over there. Because the tank is not covered or anything else. So we're just gonna shoot normally. Oh, and we got a Christian, so we actually kill him. Uh, if you are too worried about this, then instead of equipping a run and gun with the stone skin, equip a twitch shot and then use the twitch shot to kill uh, the hunter. But like I said, you don't have to worry about this too much because of the fact that uh, the tank was the closest enemy for the hunter, so the hunter would shoot at him anyways. But like I said, if you're worried that it might don't, don't turn out your way, just use the twitch shot. You're not going to be using the run and gun, so you can you can have that as well. Now be careful about killing High Priestess Plutonia, because the moment you do that, the tank will switch to being your enemy. So I'll actually go with the tank first with him at her then we're gonna check what kind of shot does uh fair have okay so with the crit chance she could actually kill the high priestess and i don't want to do that so i'm actually just gonna shoot with the crossbow so we will not kill her but also that's so anyone who uses this turn will be able to kill her so now the tank is your enemy so at this point you want to do is you're going to reload with Pharaoh and you're going to kill the high priestess. Say my name, she's white. It's Pharaoh. Right. Next up, you're going to move with Borman to about here. Okay, if you have the run and gun, you can move to board, but, but use run and gun, move here, then use the stone skin. Actually, uh, we'll do it anyway. And uh, then shoot. We should still be able to shoot though. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we didn't even need the run and gun. Just, uh, okay, so that's fine. Like I said, we don't need the run and gun. Uh, let's shoot at him. Now we have the stone skin and we have the thingy that makes us immune to his um, to his hogress. So we're just gonna make sure that Borman is the best uh, enemy for him to attack. And he'll attack. Most likely shoot at Borman. Okay, he didn't even shoot. But you want to make sure that in case he would be shooting, that your other people are behind cover because then it's going to make the choice to shoot Borman like even more obvious for him. Because he's like, well, he's the only one uncovered, so I'll be shooting at him. We have 25% shot from here. Let's move to here where we get 100% shot. Oh, and we cannot move or shoot because we reloaded. Okay, my mistake. It's okay. We'll, we'll shoot him with the other two. But I admit that was my mistake. Okay, Pharaoh has the last load on the Elysium, but we can kill him with that. That's fine. I'm the hero, you're the zero. So, just to make sure you don't get uh, this close, um, make sure that you, for example, um, reload Magnus. Bye-bye!